All right, so today I'm going to talk to you about the rise of 100x creation. The good, a little bit of the bad, but mostly why it's worth leaning into AI creation despite all the fear. So just to tell you a little bit about myself, the computer graphics bug bit me at 11. I saw this TV show called Mega Movie Magic, and I was surprised to see that I could use my frickin' computer to create visuals that were indistinguishable from reality. Not quite indistinguishable back then, but that theme essentially permeated my decade-long career in tech as a product manager uh, and nearly two decades as a content creator. And along my career, I've seen the rise of AI essentially amplifying and commodifying our abilities, our instincts, our impulses in all sorts of amazing ways. But at the same time, while this all may seem very new and novel, you often peel the onion and see it's like old ideas repeating themselves again and again. In other words, this has never happened before, yet has happened time and time again. Let's take 3D capture as an example. Whether it was 1800s paper tunnel books, or Disney's multi-plane camera, or Google's multi-plane images, you see that same concept manifest itself again and again. Animation follows a similar path too. You had manual rotoscoping back in the day, and now you have generative AI-based video to video today. What took a boatload of steps in a complicated tool like Adobe After Effects is just a couple clicks in tools like Pika Labs. But of course, it's not all rainbows and sunshine. In other words, existential threats abound, yet bountiful opportunities for the picking. And you might say, Bilavel, how is creative tech dual use? What the heck are you talking about? I'll give you just one example. Perception AI is, is the perfect one. It is democratizing the ability for people to do virtual production, essentially bringing the stuff James Cameron only dreamt of in the 2000s to indie creators like me. At the same time, it is democratizing the ability to surveil and build detailed biometric profiles about people at large. So very quickly, you start seeing these two futures emerging. But let me make the case for why I am disproportionately optimistic about what lies ahead. So this is the old way I used to create content, just top to bottom, step by step, a bunch of ill-tailored tapestry of tools that you weave together in this classic waterfall fashion. And on the right is the new way. So on the left way, one week, on the right, one day. So I made this piece of content earlier in January and it got 37 million views. There was a moment in the zeitgeist where making this video made sense. If it would have taken me a week to make this, I simply wouldn't have made it. So what I mean by that is indies are gonna be able to rival the output of studios, but studios are gonna set whole new standards altogether. Like, can you imagine what Marvel is gonna do with their treasure trove of visual umami? I still can't. And we all get these superpowers, right? So we can capture the beauty and complexity of reality and bring it into our creations. Why model something from scratch if it already exists in the real world? We can also reskin the real and unreal with a fraction of the effort that it took previously. On the left, you see me relighting myself to match different backgrounds. And on the right, I'm taking a lightly sketched out 3D scene and reskinning it with Runway ML. In other words, we're heading towards this future where as creatives, we're authoring content at this higher level of abstraction. And one analogy that's been helpful for me is essentially HTML and the document object model. Or if you're a 3D nerd, a 3D scene graph. Essentially, you can be specific and exert fine-grained control about the aspects that you care about and outsource the rest, literally creating responsive content that adapts to different users, different interests, different platforms, the list goes on. And of course, Apple Vision Pro is all the rave, so the metaverse is back, or spatial computing, depending on what you wanna call it. But let's be honest, it's a rather empty place without content, and creating 3D content is very hard. Now we have the means to populate it with these models that are distillation of all human knowledge and creativity. And yes, I guess that does include Reddit and 4chan, but it still is a reflection of us. So to wrap things up, the way I think about it is AI makes creation feel like play again. I can focus on the creative vision and get rid of the mundane drudgery required to turn your intentions into those final pixels. We'll create worlds that had never been conceived before, create stories that wouldn't be told before, literally turning our minds inside out. And that to me is a future worth fighting for. And that's why I'm excited about generative AI and AI at large. Thank you. Awesome.